Hey, what's going on guys? Zakak the Beast here, and welcome back for another year of Lobby Hunts. Um, I know usually I have music over this and I just go around uh, getting them, but this time I think I'm going to narrate through it because recently there have been uh, some copyright claims going a bit crazy that aren't real, so, you know, you can never be too safe. Anyways, uh, I've got my coordinates in the top left of the screen, so if you get lost at any point, just refer to those. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So the first one's gonna be right at spawn here. You just grab that and that'll start your hunt. The next one, if you come right around here, there it is, just behind this little uh, Halloween guide booth here. Following that, we're gonna come across and down here, just by the stables. There we go. And then we're gonna go all the way back over here. So I've tried my best to uh, optimize the route. Obviously it's not perfect, and if you can't fly, this might be a little harder for you, uh, but in your collectibles, there should be a grappling hook gadget you can use to fly around, which should make it easier. Uh, our fourth one is going to be right here in this roller coaster area. Um, or if you don't have the grappling hook, uh, I think there's an NPC right beside spawn you can talk to that will actually give it to you. The next one will be right over here in this little crevice next to the merry-go-round. And then out by the docks over here, in between these two houses, we have the next one. And then I believe it is in this house, this next one. So I just have a, uh, a notepad on my other monitor with vague ideas as to where the locations are. So that one was just called Tall House. That's why I sounded so unsure. Just looked for the Tall House. It's brutal. Um, next one, if we come over to where this little bridge is between the village and the castle area, you'll see there's one right next to the bridge. And then the next one, kind of flying back and forth here, this maybe could have been better. Uh, this house here, if you come up, it's right in there. Next, we're going to the castle. So the best spot to enter from to get these I found is right through here. You just wanna work your way right past the kitchen. And then back here, behind a door is where this one is. That's brutal, hiding it like that. Next one, you come through the kitchen into this little underground area here. There we go. And then this way over into this little uh, bed area. I don't know what to call it. That's the last one for the castle. So now we can go exit the way we came in. And fly across to the other side. To where we have the uh, pumpkin smash minigame just over in the mouth of this guy. Then up on this little mountain hill here, you come into the house, grab that one, and then down here by the Technoblade Memorial, there's one right here. And then out onto this, this tiny little, little boat out here. Grab that one. And we're flying all the way back to this uh, ruined structure here. Not really sure what to call it. Just underground. There's like a huge helicopter going overhead right now. You can probably hear that. Holy, that is loud. 
Uh, yep, so underground there. Now where am I going? The little pond right here, just behind the waterfall is gonna be your next one. Then we come through here, back to the, near where the parkour is. And then if you fly through this lava, there's one right there. Back out and around. We have one on the bottom of the tornado. Pretty cool looking tornado. Then over here, uh, just behind this house roof, there's one embedded in the cliffside. Up here, behind this uh, fishing leaderboard, there's a little secret area. And if we come right down this way, there's the next one. And now the final three are going to be underground. So the fastest way to get to it is probably right in front of spawn here. Head down the well. Spin around, come back here, take a tight right turn, keep coming down this way, take another right, and then on your right, lots of right turns to get to that one. Now we can go back, taking all of the same left turns. Or if, uh, if you don't want to, just slash stuck to get back to spawn and then come down the well again this time we go forward to this little structure here come up and around the staircase and it should be right back here And now for the final one, uh, you're gonna need your code to open the safe. And if you don't know how to get your code to open the safe, I'll show you that in a second. But just on the off chance that you do and you're trying to get out of here as fast as possible, you wanna just come right back here to where the code is, enter your code. Mine is 266, I believe. And then right back here will be your final gift basket. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now, if you don't know how to get the code, I'll show you the fastest way. All you wanna do is fly over to this castle here. And then just inside, there will be the librarian. You wanna to talk to the librarian while crouching. Make sure that you're holding crouch. And then he will tell you your number and you see how the text is red. So we gotta keep that in mind, a red two. And then if we come all the way out here past the pumpkin patch, you'll see this little structure under the water, those little rings. You just drop right down here and there will be a chest with a blue number in it. Mine is a blue six. So I have a red two and a blue six. I'm just going to slash stuck to get back to spawn, head down the well, and I'll show you what you do with that. You might be thinking, you need three numbers. Why did you only tell me how to find two? It's because getting the third number takes way longer than trial and error. So at the top here, you have red, yellow, blue. I had a red two and a blue six. So I know my first number is going to be two. And then I'll guess one, followed by my blue six. Two, two, six, two, three, six, two, four, six. And then you just go in order uh, until mine was two, six, six. And that gets me in. The way to actually get the yellow number is uh, to do fishing out by the dock and you can fish up a special fish that'll tell you your yellow number. It takes forever, just trial and error it. There's there's only 10 possible combinations. It won't take you that long. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Leave a like if this guide helped you. Make sure to subscribe. I try to be the first on YouTube every year I do it. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Peace. Peace.